Let's see this ability to write a function and evaluate it um, in action using particle uh, position or position object position. Okay, so we see there in example three, we've got an object that's moving. It's got a velocity. All right, its velocity is four t cubed minus twelve. That's the change of the particle's position. Right, so we have the change. Now we need the initial condition. We're told that the particle's position is equal to negative eight when t is equal to 1. So in other words, x of 1, because x is our position function, x of 1 is equal to negative 8. There's our initial condition. So we have the two ingredients in order to write a function for the position at any time. All right? And we're interested in x of 3. All right? Well, x of 3, that's going to be equal to x of 1, that's our initial condition, plus all the change from the time that we know until the time that we want of the rate at which position is changing. And we learned a long time ago that velocity is the rate that position changes. In other words, velocity is the derivative of position. All right, so our velocity function is heading right here. Okay, so if we calculate this, then we have the ability to come up with the position of the particle at t equals 3. Right. So let's put that into action. So what we have here, um, x of 3, that's going to be equal to x of 1, which is negative 8. So negative 8 plus the integral from 1 to 3, and our velocity function is 4t cubed minus 12. So we're going to give that a dt. So we have to anti-derive this and perform the fundamental theorem of calculus on it. And we just got to subtract 8 from our answer. So what happens when we anti-derive 4t cubed minus 12? Yeah, it's going to become t to the fourth minus 12t. That's being evaluated from 1 to 3. Right? And we're going to add that to negative 8. Okay? So we're going to plug the 3 in first and the 1 in second. When we plug in the 3, we have 3 to the 4th minus 12 times 3. And when we plug in the 1, we have 1 to the 4th minus 12 times 1. 3 to the 4th, that's a 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, or 9 squared, that's 81. So we have 81 minus 36. All right, so 81 minus 30 is 51. Minus 6 more gives us 45. All right, so we have 45 right here. And then 1 minus 12, so that's negative 11. All right, and then don't forget, our initial condition has kind of just been hanging out here the whole time. All right, so we have negative 8 plus 45 plus another 11. So negative 8, 45 minus 8, that's going to be 37. And then we're going to add 11 to that. So it looks like we have a final answer of 48. So that is the position of the particle at t equals 3.